What's up everybody and welcome back to Sunny Tech 2.0 and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Xfinity Stream app on your Fire Stick, Fire Stick TV. The process is the same so I'll go over it step by step. Before we get started guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share and subscribe. And on my channel you'll get tutorials on how to install different types of streaming application, how to keep your device running uh, nice and smooth and fast without any kind of buffering and a lot more so make sure you subscribe so let's get started the first thing you want to do is you want to hit the home button on your remote uh, it's basically the one that looks like the house or you can also use the voice command which is usually the blue button or it'll have a microphone on it but for this tutorial I'm just gonna hit the home button and it'll bring you to this screen right over here okay next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to find which is the magnifying glass and from there, we're gonna go to search. Once you go to search, hit okay. And there it shows you right over there, the blue button I was telling you about. You're gonna hit that. And then now we're gonna go ahead and hit, type in Xfinity, okay? Once you usually type in DX, it pops up the most popular app with that letter. And right over here, you're gonna see it. You're gonna scroll down one, two, and then hit okay. Once you hit okay, you'll see the Xfinity stream map pop up. You're going to hit OK again. And this time, where mine shows a little cloud arrow pointing down, yours is probably going to say install. So just to show you real quick, it's probably going to... Let's go ahead here real quick. Well, oh, that should buy. Let me show something else. I have all these apps. But you get the point. It's going to say install. So we're going to go ahead and hit the install button. So you see where it's the device capability, make sure it's the one on the left, you're gonna hit okay. And then right over here, it's gonna start downloading. And once it downloads, it automatically will launch the application. Well, depending on your device, if you did the update, usually the newer versions now, they automatically launch it. So we're waiting to install, it takes about you see 15, 20 seconds, usually it doesn't take that long to uh, install the application right over there. And you can also hit the three buttons. This one to the launch it, that's weird. So we're gonna just hit okay. We'll wait for it to open up. And once you go to the login process, you're gonna go, you're gonna see this here. You're gonna hit sign in. And it's gonna give you two options. It's gonna say you can scan that little square with the black lines on it, which is called the QR code. Or on the web, on the left-hand side, you'll see where it says HTTP, S colon forward slash forward slash Xfinity.com forward slash authorized. Now, if you do use the URL, which is on the left-hand side, you wanna make sure you type it in exactly how you see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that in and you guys could type it in on your end if you're doing it along with me. If not, pause the video, start doing it, and you can catch up with me here. So we're gonna type it in real quick, okay? And if you, once you get there, what you wanna do is you're gonna go ahead and putting the code in right now you'll see a code on your screen, you wanna go ahead and put that code in. Don't put my code in, the one you see on my screen, you wanna put yours in. Cause if you put mine in, obviously it won't work. Cause this is for, uh, each device has its own code every time you go in. So it changes it. And if you take too long, so like right now I'm doing it, if I take a long time to do it, to get to the screen where I'm looking to get to, the code is gonna expire. And when it, if it does expire, then you have to get out of the application and go back in just in case that happens to you uh i'm doing the video it's taking me a little bit longer than it usually would but usually it doesn't take that long once you sign into it you put that code in it's going to ask you to sign into your xfinity account and you can go ahead and sign into your xfinity account okay let's see and then if you have a verification code it's gonna ask you to put the verification code in as well. Okay. And let's see here. And then once you put the code in, the verification code in, I'm doing the whole process as we're doing this, just to show you guys. 
it's gonna go ahead and automatically start updating the app, okay? So I put the verification code, it's the first thing we did is we went to the website, put the code on the screen, put in your username and password, then there's a verification code if you have two-step verification on it, puts a code in and you can go there. And from here, you're gonna have, you can see, this is the main screen right here, you hit the left, you're gonna have your saved, which is list for you, your DVR, stuff like that, your purchases, your live TV, all your channels, your favorite. You got TV to go, so some of these channels you can watch as you're, if you're not home. You got your sports, you got your movies, different networks, TV, kids, and it basically, yeah, it's pretty straightforward, you know, you can see it all. And then if you're looking for a certain channel, instead of going through the whole TV guide, uh, you can just go to the search button. Once you go to the search, you can either put your channel number in, you can put the channel name in. Uh, let's just use an example here. I'm not gonna click on it just for copyright purposes, but let's just go ahead and hit like PBS. So it'll give you the channel collection, you hit that, and then you can go ahead and start watching on demand. You can watch the actual channel. It basically gives you everything right there for you, okay? So that's pretty much it guys. If you have any questions or if you have any other, uh, if you want me to do a tutorial on how to navigate through it more detailedly, but it's pretty straightforward. But if you do have questions, leave it in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.